Hey guys, it is Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I just started this video and then realized my fan was like blaring in the background, so I just turned that off. Uh, if you are new here, hello. I am a homeschooling mama to three, and I kind of just like to share things that help me out, like reviews of certain curriculum, uh, homeschool with me videos, that kind of thing. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can see when I post new videos. Also, it'll be interesting to see how many times this video gets interrupted by my kids. They're outside playing at the moment, and I didn't tell them I was filming, so... I can hear all sorts of noises. <laughs> anyway, today I'm sharing with you a review slash overview of the five in a row curriculum. This was something that I toyed with the idea of using for my son's kindergarten year, um, and then decided that I wasn't going to, and then decided that I was. <laughs> so I went back and forth and it took me a while to decide whether or not I was going to use it and how I was going to use it. But ultimately, we went with it. And I'm so glad that we have because so far I'm loving it. We haven't done a heck of a lot, like we're still on the first book. But I've got enough of an idea to share with you what I think of it and how you can use it for your homeschool. Because we're not using it in the same way that it was intended to be used, I suppose. But uh, it still works really, really well and you get the same concept. So. As a brief overview, this is what you get. There are several volumes. I can't remember how many in total, but this is the first volume of the five in a row curriculum. And it's not, like, I think it is fairly popular, but it's not talked about a heck of a lot on social media and stuff. And I think it's because it's an older curriculum. Like, it's been around for a while. And I heard about it from another YouTube mama, um, Rooted in Rest. I love her channel. She is, she loves a lot of, um, Charlotte Mason approach. So if that's something that you are interested in, I think you really like her channel. But I, I love her channel because she's just very open and honest about her beliefs and her values and how she incorporates that in their homeschool. And so go check her out. I will probably put a link to her channel in the description below if I remember. <laughs> Myself and memory aren't great things at the moment. But um, I think it was from her that I heard about this curriculum and she did a bit of an overview there and I was just like, hmm, that might be something that I could use because while I've started my son Jack homeschooling now and he's still young, I don't want it to be heavy, heavy schoolwork. I don't want it to be um, a dredge or like something that's not enjoyable. I want it to be really lighthearted and fun and this curriculum really does tick all those boxes and so I hunted this down. This was not easy to find. You cannot buy it where I live which is in New Zealand and shipping was like expensive. I, I will link to where you can like buy it from where it is produced but first of all I found the website just really difficult to navigate and secondly the shipping was expensive. So what I ended up doing was finding it on thrift books. And this is not sponsored in any way, but I am like slightly obsessed with it. <laughs> I haven't bought a heck of a lot. Like I haven't made another order since I got this and the couple of books that I got with it. But thrift books is basically a secondhand bookstore online. Like how cool is that concept? And I love it for things that are like hard to find like this curriculum or um, like my mom was looking for uh, one of Elizabeth Elliot's books and she just was struggling to find it and I said hey why don't you look for it on there and sure enough she found it so I think they do free shipping in the US if you like get over a certain amount um, on your order but unfortunately that does not apply to the rest of the world I did have to pay for shipping it wasn't cheap but I wouldn't say it was expensive either like as far as international shipping goes it wasn't too bad so I got this book, which is volume one, I got The Rag Coat, which is one of the books in the book list, and also How to Make Apple Pie and See the World. And this is the one that we're currently on. So I didn't start like at the beginning with the first book, and maybe you're supposed to do that, but I did not do that. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about how we use it later, but first of all, I'm going to talk about how it works. So the five in a row curriculum is basically where you get a book, which for instance, we're using this book at the moment, and you read it five at least five times in a row. So you would read it every single day if you were using this like as your core curriculum, you'd read this book every single day. And then in this book, it gives you different lessons to do every day. So you might do art one day, you might do language arts another day, you might do math, like it's got every subject in there. There's social studies, um, I'm trying to think of vocabulary, that's another one that we've done. And it's wonderful. It's got a real like Charlotte Mason feel to it where you ask for like oral narration and things like that. Um, 
they've got activity ideas. And what I like as well is if you go on Pinterest, you'll often find activities or unit studies that go along with this that other mamas have set up. So that's really great. So they have a big book list of all the different books you can get. I bought a couple when I bought this just because these ones were harder to find and cheaper for me to buy just in like a bulk order. But a lot of them you could find uh, just, I decided to purchase them. You could get them out the library if you wanted to, but I decided to purchase it because this is something I'm likely gonna use with all three of my children. And so I felt it was worthwhile just purchasing the books because we're gonna use them over and over again. Plus they're lovely books. So we will not be getting through the entire book list in this volume. It's like pretty extensive. I can't remember how many books there are in total. Hold on, I'll count. Okay, if I counted correctly, there are 19 books in here. So they have the book list at the front and I think Kathy Duffy Reviews, her blog might have a book list as well. If I, if I remember, I will try and link that for you because that's quite helpful. Uh, and it's got like a big introduction and then how to use five in a row and things like that. And I booked mark, bookmarked where we are at in the book so that I can quickly refer to it once we've read through the book. Uh, it's lovely. It's a lovely, gentle approach to learning that is fun and hands-on and you can adapt it to work for your family. And so what I'm going to talk about now is how we've made it work for us because we have a core curriculum that we're using for most subjects and that is the good and the beautiful really really love it um we've got their language arts and math in their handwriting and then we're doing story of the world for history and then we're doing five in a row as well and the way that we're doing five in a row because it would be too much to have it every single day is i'm just doing it once a week on a friday because on friday my son does not do language arts that's it's only four days a week so on friday he doesn't do language arts so what we do is we do this we do this book and so i'm gonna so for me i'm planning on doing two books a term because our terms over here in new zealand are around about 10 weeks each and so that means i can fit in a couple of books per term and I just pick one of the learning the subjects that we're going to focus on and we do that and oftentimes I'll make it something like social studies or um, something like that that's not part of our core curriculum because it's just a bit different and it's supplemental but you can pick whatever you want and that is what I seriously love about this you could adapt it to however you want and the other reason I really love it is because it spans a good age group like my younger daughter can listen in as well. She's three and a half and she loves it. And she can like listen in and tell me the story, tell the story back to me and give me her feedback. Uh, last week, the lesson was art and it talked about, I'll show you in this book, um, there's like a street scene here of the market. And then it, that street scene continues on this back page. And so the art lesson was them drawing their own street scene. And you would think for like a four-year-old and a three-and-a-half-year-old, that would be intense. But it wasn't. They loved it. They It was great shape practice, like drawing different shapes and colors. And then we just folded the paper in half so it was like the book. And when they opened it up. And they loved it. And they both got to participate. And it was just a really simple, fun activity for them to do together. And it was also something that was fairly independent. Like I read to them, obviously. But then I went and dealt with the baby while they were drawing their pictures and things like that. So I'm a fan for sure. I'm really glad that I purchased this. It, it might be cheap if you live in the States. But if you are international, it is a little costly. Mostly because for me, the exchange rate where I am at the moment, like... The US dollar is very strong in comparison to the New Zealand dollar at the moment, so that was pricey and then the shipping on top, but it was worth it for something that we're going to use over and over again. And I think most homeschoolers will relate to being just like absolute book fiends, like you can never have enough books. So I am all for purchasing these and I'll purchase more as the year goes on because yeah, I can definitely see us having a lot of fun with this in the future and even next year I might be doing this more full-time with my daughter who will then be four like I think it'll be perfect as a preschool curriculum and my son will be in like grade one by then so that is my overview and my review hopefully I would have inserted some footage here of what the book looks like so that you can get an idea of how it works this book that I got because it was secondhand it has got like some things underlined and stuff like that in it, but it really didn't bother me. It doesn't like affect the use of the book at all. Um, and the actual 
books that I got from thrift books, like the reading books, were in pretty good nick. This one was in really good nick. In fact, it's probably been a bit bent and stuff since we've gotten it. And then this book was certainly in tidy condition. It wasn't, it's not perfect. Like you can tell it's an older book, but the pages aren't bent. Like there's no tears or anything. Um, so I could recommend thrift books, which I'll link below for you. And I can recommend this curriculum in general. I love it. And I think that a lot of other homeschooling mamas will really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of the curriculum and just, yeah, what is your style of homeschooling? What do you love to do? I, like my all time favorite part of homeschooling is read aloud. I love reading to my children and my children love being read to. Uh, and I would probably do that all day long if I could. <laughs> like it's just the best part of our homeschool day for sure. We just love it. And I often like try and find themed coloring pages uh, because my kids are younger for them to do while I am reading. So right now we're doing Farmer Boy by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And my, I've been like printing out like pioneer coloring pages from Pinterest that I find and they just love it. So yeah, let me know what is your favorite part of your homeschool day? What style of homeschooler are you? Leave that in the description below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no